going on, cave dwellers? Well, it is Wednesday, hump day, of course. And, uh, well, I'm not at work today because my dealership flooded. I'm sure you, I, we posted the pictures in the community tab so you can check that out. So I figured I'd come check in on Bagheera because we got some serious rain last night. We wanted to make sure all the cars were okay and definitely want to do a little cold start because it's been a little bit since I heard her. Um, but she's looking good, as you can see, uh, next to her sister. Onyx, waiting for GM's car cover to still arrive, which is still on back order. But um, well, look, let's uh, let's hear it. The car obviously still hasn't moved since we ceramic coated it, of course. Uh, so they say they, the guy, uh, well Wayne at Airland and C Ceramics did say, uh, you know, two weeks. Don't put any product on it because um, you want it to cure. But let's hear the beast if she will even remote start on me now. She doesn't want to. Hmm. So we're gonna have to go inside and start her up. Inside the cabin, which I don't mind. Right now she's in tour mode actually. And we have plates already, but we're waiting. But we're waiting for her personalized plate to show up. So we got those plates about two weeks ago now, now that we had Bagheera for, uh, I'd say a little over a month. Cause we picked her up December 5th. So it's the 10th right now. Still has all of her plastic and everything on her. Uh, Cause she's just in hibernation so. We're just making sure the car stays top notch. Oh, man, do I love these dark aluminum door spears. Look at that, guys. That's factory, by the way. That was supposed to be on the collector's edition and cost us a bundle to get them uh, and add them to the car. So along with the beautiful side rockers in satin black to match the wheels can't say enough about this vehicle guys it just sounds so good <sighs> look at that panther panther guys i do have actually a new one of the of this this is what comes from the factory uh when the car arrives same thing with everyone's asking why do you have plastic still on the shifter well we haven't changed it yet so there's that uh and we gotta we still have to detail the inside which we haven't done because we didn't want anybody touching it. <sighs> Love that carbon fiber dash. Uh, we have a bunch of mods that we still have to put in here. But uh, look at, I see, I love 2024 model year because everything's wireless. Uh, unlike my 16 SS, uh, AKA Tribute, uh, we, you do have to plug it in to get the Apple CarPlay to work. So, but this one, it's already ready there. Right on the screen, guys. So let us know what you think in the comments. Looks like uh, tire pressures are pretty good still. Um, each tire is on a gym mat. So before we put it, which that box right over there is flat stoppers. We still have to put it on there, on there. but just wanted to do a little video for you guys and show you what's going on inside the cave, one of our garages. Oh, man, look at that aluminum door spear. <laughs> That's badass. And should we open up the exhaust? Because right now we're in tour mode, as you can see with the blue lights. GM performance. Oh yeah, that's sport mode. Lights change, exhaust opens up. What about a low rev? Maybe. It just sounds so different than Tribute. In a good way though, because we can't have them sound the same, you know. So good so good guys can't say enough how much i love this car right here and we're so happy and thankful and honored that we could we could had the opportunity to get one um there are still some available out there looks like uh, i was searching but i mean just look at that shine <laughs> especially since we ceramic coated it look at my reflection it's crazy that shine is nuts and look at that panther right engraved in the r Love that. Whew, beautiful, guys. 
we'll be doing more videos and bringing you Bagheera. Which is, see, people are trying, are uh, taking the same name. Well, we had a first here at the Camaro Cave. It's okay, though. No worries, as long as they know what the name means. I love these wheels. Forged black aluminum with the Camaro engraved and the big Brembo calipers with Camaro on them and Brembo. And then you got the little SS set of caps. Can't get enough of looking at this car and just staring at the paint, guys. It's just crazy. LT1 badge on the hood. Everyone's like, why is the LT1 badge on the hood? Well, maybe because <gasps> there's an LT1 engine underneath. Yeah. Car is looking clean, guys. Now remember, you got the satin front splitter, satin wheels, satin side rockers, satin mirrors, satin hood stripe, satin stripe on top of the vehicle as well. That goes right up to the sunroof and right on the back of the sunroof too it's the first vehicle that they've ever done that with uh, and it goes it's actually cut out all around the antenna where it has holds your wi-fi and your on star of course and then it does have the new camera in it as well and then you get it on the back with the zl1 wing which is a little heavier than the, the normal ss wing with the cut out of the panther guys Love it, love it, love it. And what's so nice is if you look at the vinyl, I mean, look at how even that is from the trunk lid and goes underneath the trunk lid too, onto the wing, underneath the wing, all the way to the third brake light, which is blacked out. And then you got the black bow ties and black tail lights. I mean, this car, car is all murdered out the right way it was supposed to, MPP dual mode exhaust. You got the satin. The fuser, yeah, it was done right, guys. And we, we definitely thank the GM design team for all their work to make this vehicle a reality. Love it, guys.